Welcome back to Adri's Homestead Life. In this vlog, we are going to pick bolloti beans and a few more other varieties. And I would like to talk to you and show you how I preserve those beans. The ones we're going to pick what dried out outside, they probably gonna go in a jar and on a pantry shelf. I'm going to freeze them for maybe a few days, put some peppercorn in them, and then probably I'm gonna take it out of the freezer, dry it again, and that can go in a jar on a pantry shelf. Also, I'm going to show you how I um, freeze the beans as well. So it's simply the ones what I've picked premature, so we, they weren't really ready to pick. They weren't papery, you know, rattly, dry ready. That's absolutely fine to pick as well, but those need to be freezed. So I usually flash freeze those in a freezer, bring it out and I just package it in the freezer bags, write on it what it is and uh, just can go to the freezer. So whenever I need for soups, stews or for whatever I'm cooking, I'm just taking on the amount the recipe need. Also, we are going to do lots of freeze drying projects going on, you know, so many. This is, this is now like a proper freeze drying marathon and my freeze drying is behaving itself so I do as much as I can. So if you're interested please stay with me and let's go pick those beans. Wow I cannot believe how many we've got to be ready to pick. Half a full already. Right, I am filling up this basket so quickly. It's rattling, that's mean they are dry. Oh, still got us. I haven't even noticed actually that I've picked all these baskets full. Look, it's still so. Wow. Right. Let's go pick some more. Right. The shredded zucchini courgette, it's done. And it crumbles up how it, you know, how it was, how I put it in. So it's quite cool. One tray makes one quart jar. I don't want to pack it too tight just for now. I'm just going to pull it in there. I don't know how we're going to use it up. We can powder it and make it as a thickener for soups or stews or curries or whatever. We want to put the courgette in. Or you can, we can bake with it as a courgette flour. It, it took 24 hours from pre-frozen. Stopped and I put an extra three hours extra dry time back. It was a bit, wasn't 100% dry. So, yeah, this is our 
shredded zucchini or courgette. I'm going to vacuum seal. This courgette, shredded courgette, in this quart jar. With 20 seconds. It's done. Look what I've discovered in my garden in a squash patch. One of my turkey comes here to lay in. I made a nest. Look. Three eggs in there. <laughs> I have got some carrots to deal with. I've picked all these carrots another day and now I wash them I'm just gonna scrub it or peel it if I have to and I'm going to freeze dry it today so we're going to chop it in a chopper a food processor and I'm going to place it on a freeze drying trays and they go to the freezer first and tomorrow they go to the freeze dryer I filled one freeze dryer so I've got four trays I've got I'm trying my new food processor with different attachments and I've tried two of the slicers well, it's very similar but this one is slightly bigger and I've got two grater so I've chosen one of the grater to grate these um, carrots this is now going to the freezer and tomorrow to the freeze dryer and I will show you what is it like when it comes out right next job I've got this I'm sure they are snowball onions, these white ones I need to deal with. I've got a whole box full, I've got my compost in front of me, a knife, and I've already started taking, you know, care of it. So what I'm thinking, I've already got enough freeze-dried. Shall we try one more with these snowball onions? Hmm, I might just try one tray as how it, you know, turns out compared to the yellow normal onion. Also, I've got these, some of the carrots we've just put in a freezer and the leftovers, I'm gonna probably honey roast these with one of our dinners. And I've got my goat's cheese in here now, uh, been there for a few days in a fridge and I'm thinking to have a little experiment and try to freeze dry some of these goat's cheese so that's gonna could go either way well i've decided to do it now i've got two freeze dryers so i've got two medium freeze dryers i have both got four trays so at the moment i've got six trays in a freezer two's got the elderberry elderberries on it frozen ready to go to the freeze dryer I've got four full of with carrots and I've got two free trays. So I might just try one tray of this yellow snowball onions on it and one cheese. And then that's how we learn, you know, if you don't try, we don't know. So I'm gonna try that, I think. I think that'll be fun if it turns out great. Just learn something new. If not, I'm just not gonna do it again. So, yeah, I'm just carrying on peeling all these uh, onions. And I am tempting to put them through my food processor, the chopper. So that saved me jobs to chop it myself. And so I'm thinking of going out, we had a good rain just, and um, put the fall garden crop in. I've got my compost bin in here, and I am shelling these bolt that was just picked a couple of days ago. 
So I crack this open, they are all nice and dry. And then the shell will go to the compost. Can you hear how dry they are? And this is such a relaxing job for me, you know. This will take me probably and a couple of hours maybe to shell all these beans. But it's okay. I'm just listening to some YouTube channels and I'm just shelling these beans. I've been harvesting in the garden. I've been harvesting some lemon balm, parsley, sage, mullen leaf, basil and thyme. And we are going to freeze dry these. So I've got two medium sized freeze dryer with eight trays for each. And probably we will fill this, both freeze dryer with this. Let's do it. All the eight trays are ready. I'm going to take them to the freezer for tonight and we're going to put all the trays to the freeze dryer tomorrow. So we've got lemon balm, sage, thyme, mullen leaves, basil, parsley and two trays of cucumbers. Today's job to deal with these beans, I've picked, that's the bolotti. Some of them are dry, the pink ones not dry, we are, we are having such a wet week, so I've decided to pick them and I'm going to freeze it. And we've got the purple and green pole beans, I've picked them earlier what I should, but I think I'm going to can these. I've got a bit of a, the butter bean, the butter bean and some runner beans. I've got the compost bean, so these are the runner beans, these are the butter beans, they're huge beans, and that's the pole bean. Köszöntések jönnek, 
és aztán rögtön kezdődik a gépindítások. Hogy kell ezt érteni? Előbb a gőzgép, már az ugyan be lesz fűtve, már korán reggel, annak kell három óra, hogy a 800 liter víz meleg legyen, hogy el tudjon indulni a gőzgép, tehát az fogja hajtani a csépőgépet, aztán lesz traktorindítás, aztán motorindítás, stabil motorindítás is lesz, szekerkiállítás lesz, és a modell gőz csépőgép bemutatás is lesz, azt természetesen levegővel fogjuk hajtatni, mert azok apró modellek, de elég érdekesek. All the beans are now in a freezer bag, plastic bags, and I'm going to put them in the freezer. I probably will use some of them to make baked beans. I really would like to do maybe a simple or in tomato sauce or barbecue sauce, you know. That's that's on on a horizon. I think probably in the next couple of months we are going to do that together. But yeah, for now these will go to the freezer and I'm going to get on with my next job. The freeze dryer finished. Let's see the product inside. So I am, I am really interested about how the cucumber turned out. So I've never freeze dried cucumber before. Okay, let's have a taste test. Mm. Tastes like cucumber. <laughs> Mmm, that's nice. Okay, so we've got two trays of cucumber. I slice them thinly using my food processor. We have got something I haven't tried before, mullen leaves. Perfect. And we've got half a tray of mullen leaves and half a tray of time. I think this is ready. All the products turned out good. You can hear the freeze dryer defrosting right now. So the cucumber, the thyme, parsley, sage, lemon balm, the basil, mullen, Everything is good. We've done the onion a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, all the eight trays of the freeze-dried goods are done. Right, that was a marathon. And everything turned out really well. So all the herbs and, you know, the carrots, the lemon balm, the sage, the thyme, everything what we freeze-dried it's turned out brilliant. They are in jars. Actually, what I'm thinking now, because I've got so many jars and I'm getting short of jars, that's the one thing. But the most important thing is, because I managed to freeze dry so much already this year, and I know in those jars, you know, we're exposed to that light, and that jar, sometimes I vacuum seal, but sometimes not. I'm just using those plastic lids. They're not brilliant. So the, the oxygen and air can get into it and can, it's not, as can spoil the food, it could probably be spoiled after a while, but they just go more soft and soggy, not that crunchy like it comes out of the freeze dryer. So I'm actually really thinking to start using Mylar bags or even go through what's in jars and put them in Mylar bags so I can gain some jars what I need to preservation method and that would give my other stuff, everything that we freeze dry, a longer shelf life. And yeah, the beans, beans is all done. They're on the shelf, in the freezer, very happy. Actually, now we're a few weeks after we've picked the first one. And uh, I think I'm gonna go out and pick some more beans. We had some lots of rain since then. So the beans are a bit struggling to turn and dry. But I think we are getting close to really low temperatures. And um, we had few days ago 
three degrees Celsius one of the morning, so that's really close to frost. So the next couple of weeks I'm gonna watch like a hawk, the forecast, and before the frost we need to harvest all the rest of the beans. And I'm probably gonna show you what I'm doing with those as well. So, well, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and see you very soon. Bye, friends.